What would you call that? <laughs> what would you call it? Carrots. Hi, I'm Philly, and this is my Vietnamese-inspired banh mi sandwich. For the marinade, I've got a pork loin. You can either use a pork loin or neck or shoulder. I'm gonna cut it in half, just because it's a little bit easier to work with. And I'm gonna make the marinade. I'm using fish sauce, soy sauce, lime juice, which is like really refreshing, a bit of sugar, garlic cloves, which have been pureed, and then sriracha, which is a spicy fermented sauce. I'm gonna whisk this up to make sure everything is combined and then add in my pork loin. This is now ready to marinate for at least 12 hours and preferably overnight. This is one that I marinated last night and it is now ready to roast. I'm going to remove the marinade from the pork and just pour it into a nice dish and we're gonna reduce this by half on a medium heat. I've been heating up the Gosney Dome to about 300 degrees. I'm gonna preheat a griddle pan so it's super hot to roast the pork. While my pan is heating up, I'm going to make a quick pickle liquor to pickle my veg. I've got thinly sliced radish and grated carrot. To make the pickle liquor, we've got a three to one ratio of water, vinegar, and sugar. And we're gonna bring this to a boil to make sure all the sugar is dissolved. My pickle liquor has come to the boil and we now need to wait for it to cool down. You can do this with a couple of ice cubes, but I've cooled mine down earlier and I'm just gonna pour it over the veg. This is gonna marinate for about 30 minutes while we cook our pork. It's now time to cook our pork. I'm gonna take our pan that's been preheating in the Gosney. That is smoking hot. I'm gonna add the pork loin to the pan. Then I've taken the marinade off the heat and it's now a little bit more thick and glossy. We can just lightly brush the marinade over the pork and that's gonna get really nicely caramelized during the cooking. We're gonna do this in a series of about five minutes during our cooking process. I'm gonna put the dome meat probe into the pork loin and then when that's cooking in the oven, we're gonna look for an internal temperature of about 50 degrees so I know that the pork is beautiful and tender. This is gonna go directly into the dome now. I'm gonna plug the probe into the dome. I love banh mi, they're one of my favorite sandwiches. I used to have them in Hoi An, which is a tiny little town in the middle of Vietnam, which is beautiful, it's got, it almost feels like you're in the south of France. One of the shops there selling banh mi is famed by Anti Bourdain, it's called Banh Mi Truong. I went there and I was like, it's really good, but there's a place down the road, which I believe is better, and it's called Banh Mi Queen, and they are the most delicious, juicy banh mi in Vietnam. That's my secret. <laughs> my pork is at 50 degrees, it's ready to come out. I mean, look at how beautiful and glossy that is. Yummy. <laughs> I'm just gonna glaze it one final time, and then allow that to rest on a chopping board before slicing. I mean, look how glossy that is. It looks delicious. Yum. While that's resting, I'm just gonna pop my baguettes in the oven to refresh and get super crispy. Baguettes are super crispy. The pork is rested. All I need to do is slice it and build my banh mi sandwiches. You can see the juice of the pork and that beautiful soy glaze that's been marinating the meat. Try and go as thinly as you can. We're now gonna build the banh mi. I'm just gonna slice open the baguette, the crust, and then open them up and load it up with a bit of mayo. I love to use Kewpie mayo, which is a Japanese style mayo, and it's just like the best mayo ever but uh, if you can't get that, you can use whatever mayo you have. I'm then gonna use a bit of pate. You can use any pate you want, but I really love chicken liver pate. And then just spread that down. Then we can add our beautiful pork loin, which has been marinating. We can even like add a little bit of the glaze back into the loin. 
I mean, stop it. This looks so good. Very excited. Add a bit of cucumber for freshness and then a few pickles just to finish off the sandwich and break through a bit of the richness. So I've got some of the pickled carrots and the pickled radish and then just a few chilies to give a bit of heat. These are optional. If you can't handle the heat, then uh, don't add them. If you love it, go ahead. And that is my Vietnamese inspired banh mi. Now it's time to munch. <laughs> That is super good, everything that you want in a sandwich. This is my Vietnamese banh mi, and for the full recipe, go to gosney.com. For the full recipe, go to gosney.com. I can't do it. <laughs> can't do it, it's the last line. My God! Oh.